I'm sitting here looking at this Klondike bar thinking, wait a minute. You've got all these, all these ingredients, and I've already studied the bad boy of Corexit 9500, which is dipropylene, glycol, butyl, ether. The phone rang again. It was the water testing lab. The mysterious yellowish brownish jar of liquid from Dimmick had given up some of its secrets. Barium and strontium are drilling muds. They're lubricants for the drill bit. Iron and chloride and conductivity were extremely high. With pure distilled water, you have a conductivity of zero. This was off the charts. But the scariest and most difficult part of the test to get my head around were two things I'd never heard of. Total Keldol nitrogen and MBAS, or methylene blue active substance. MBAS are reactive agents that turn blue when it comes into contact with detergents or surfactants. Now detergents don't sound so bad, you wash your laundry with them. But you don't want to drink a detergent. And you certainly don't want to drink a surfactant. Everything that enters one of your cells enters through a surface. Do it again, pumps. A surfactant will allow oil or other substances to pass through surfaces by dissolving them. So if a surfactant gets into a stream near fish, it'll dissolve the fish's gills. So what could one little jar of yellowish brownish liquid from Demic prove? They were told to just release it into a stream. It's the same type of thing over and over and over. You've lost more than what you've gained. What have you gained? A dollar bill cannot bring back what they've taken away. I think everyone is fed up with it, and everybody's afraid to say anything. This is our system. It pumps out of there, it pumps through the softener, it pumps through there, and it fills this 500-gallon tank. This It's just a centrifugal pump. It goes through a real fine... I call it a filter. It's more like a membrane. We were actually drinking it for a while. But four and a half years ago, Rhonda got really sick with extreme neuropathy and, and is in a lot of pain. And she just <laughs> faded fast and, and had the bone pain. And, and she's been through spinal taps and everything to try to find a cause. Jeff and Rhonda Locker found out that a reverse osmosis unit won't filter out glycol ethers. Glycol ethers eat the membranes inside of the filters.